Hello, how are you? I want to take uh, some time and to, uh, to connect with you, uh, even though it is through the internet, but I just want to connect with you and to pray some scriptures over you, encourage you. I really love encouraging people. I am an encourager and I want to encourage you. So if you uh, um, connect now and let me know where you're from, I'll try to uh, acknowledge uh, you. But uh, meanwhile, I just really want to quote some scriptures over you that the Lord's placed on my heart. And uh, first of all, I want to uh, say that everything as far as healing is uh, provided by Jesus. He's the one who gave his life to not only save our soul and to, to get, get to heaven, but also to, to heal us from all our sickness and diseases. No questions about it. His perfect will. So I'm starting with uh, uh, Matthew eight seventeen. It says, uh, This was to fulfill what was spoken through Isaiah the prophet. He himself, being Christ, took our infirmities and carried away our diseases. So uh, this is just to start with, it's, of course, in the Old Testament prophets from Book of Isaiah, but now it's fulfilled through Christ uh, and, and, and Matthew, Matthew declares that. So I just want to uh, start with uh, scriptures uh, for divine protection. And uh, I'm starting with Second to Thessalonians uh, chapter 3, verse 3. It says, But the Lord is faithful, and He will strengthen you and protect you, from the evil one uh, because all diseases all sicknesses all this uh things that are emotional mental physical uh, they come from the evil one the devil you know which he contaminated adam from very the very beginning he he fooled him to uh disobey god and to uh to partake of that uh, forbidden tree of the knowledge of good and evil and as a result they died, not, not physically, of course, they, they lived over 900 years, but they died spiritually. And that started the corruption and the spread of disease and sicknesses and all the curses. So Jesus came not only to forgive us, but also to take away all these curses, as, as I just read. He, he came to take away, and by His stripes we were healed, really. So it's all provided, but now through faith, we connect with it. So I just pray the scripture, Lord, you're faithful and he will strengthen and protect us from, from the evil one and all the consequences. I just like to read another scripture that is one of my favorite in the New English Bible. I have, I have a bunch of Bibles. I'm surrounded with Bibles. I love, I love the Bibles and the different translation. So First John, um, chapter 5 verse 18 and says this for we know that no child of God is a sinner it is the son of God who keeps him safe and the wicked one touches it not I love this scripture it is absolutely one of my favorite and in this particular translation many of them says sin it not or it doesn't live a lifestyle of a, a sinner's lifestyle of course we understand that but this particular translation is we're not a sinner. So this is this is the glorious good news that when we receive Jesus as Lord, we're not only uh, saved from uh, our sins, but actually we're saved from our identity as sinners. And so reckon yourself uh, dead to sin and alive to God. Now you're living in unbroken fellowship with God through Christ Jesus. And in that fellowship with Him, uh, everything that is in Christ now becomes available for you to be in Christ. Who, who, those of us who are, who are born again will receive Jesus in Christ, which is you. So I just want to assure you that in that salvation, the word sozo, salvation, is not just for spiritual salvation and reconnecting with the Lord, but also salvation is salvation from sickness, curing, cleaning, and, and protection. So I just want to uh, pray this blessing over you and uh, in that particular scripture it says, Lord, thank you that you are considering us in Christ, that we're no longer sinners, our identity has changed, and that, that the Son of God protects us, keeps us safe, and the evil one 
cannot touch him. So I just release that over my brother right now, over my sister in Christ. I release that divine protection over the evil one. So much so they cannot touch you. So I know that's a spiritual to start with, of course, but also emotionally in every way. Uh, I release the calmness, the peace in mind, and the divine physical protection against all diseases and anything, curses and stuff that's part of that fall. Now, we start with some of the, uh, some of the Old Testament scripture I like to get into, De Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 6, and says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified be because of them. Who are, who are those them? Of course, th those are, at the time, these uh, tribes, um, the, the, uh, uh, starting with, the, the, of course, the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Hivites, per Perizzites, I call them the parasites. So all the parasites and all this disease sites, all these, I'm, I'm using humor, but you understand what I'm saying. Everything that was standing, again, all these tribes actually, they were a rough, rough, uh, wicked tribe that wanted to control. Every one of those names is a name of a controlling, and putting down, um, using, abusing, and it's a very abusive uh, type of, um, tribes and and the Lord says I be uh, uh, I will uh, never leave you and, and never forsake you and I will destroy these tribes in front of you and this is this is this is how you know that I'm with you because I'm destroying that which tries to destroy you so of course we're not fighting flesh and blood but we're fighting principalities and powers and the we're fighting the good the good fight of faith in a sense that God has already provided freedom from diseases and freedom from these uh, sicknesses. And so in Christ Jesus, we are already promised to be free from that. And, and so I just released that over you. And just, it works by faith. We're, we, we live by faith. The just should live by faith. There's no other way. So you have to believe it. And if you don't have... Uh, strong faith in this very moment. I just release my faith because I have a very strong faith. The Lord has rescued me and delivered me from so many things, uh, so many curses and everything that is, I was raised and you know bur born in a very cursed situation. But He rescued me, saved me, and protected me and my wife and that family. And so, so we just release that faith of God. Even if you don't have it, just say, Lord, just give me some more faith right now. And so, so we're just releasing the faith of God. Faith comes by hearing. You know, so you're hearing my voice. So the faith of God is inside me through the sound. Of my voice is coming to you, to yours is coming and operating, beginning to operate for you. So I'm just connecting with that. Now, let's keep going. Uh, so do not fear, for I'm with you. This is Isaiah 41, verse 10. Do not fear, I am with you, nor be dismayed. The Lord is with us. Now that this is the Old Testament, now He's in us. Wow, just receive it. Lord, I just bless my brother. Just, uh, I just pray that, that amazing scripture that you have promised, you swore um, to fulfill these promises, and you swore in your name, they will never leave us, never forsake us. I just dispel all fear in Jesus' name. For you are our God. And and uh, he said, I will strengthen you and help you. So we just re re receive your strength in us. And receive your help right now. Go ahead. Just receive it. And I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Wow. So just, I lift my brothers and sisters. Lord, we're just lifting all of our sisters in the body of Christ. Lift them up by your righteous right hand. We lift them up above all these diseases and and uh, contaminations and things like that so we as a body of Christ are protected so we could rise and shine above these and and and, uh, and 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 let the whole world around us see that there's something about these Christians there's something about these believers you know actually more more than half of the Christ of America you know declares that they're they're believe in God and particularly in Jesus so so I'm just reading the statistic. It's not something. They're not, of course, maybe not working in it, or, uh, living in it, but they at least say they are. So we just bless everyone that says they're born again, that are Christian, that believe in Jesus. 
who bless him and, and, and release the divine protection. Divine protection. The God who, who swore to strengthen us and help us and uphold us. Thank you, Lord. Proverbs, 20, uh, Proverbs chapter 2, verse 11. Brothers and sisters, come on. Discretion will protect you. And understanding will guard you. Are you receiving that? Uh, of course, who is our discretion? Who is our understanding? Who is our wisdom? Proverbs 4, verse 6. Do not forsake wisdom. She will protect you. Love her and she will watch over you. Who is that? That's Jesus. He was made unto us wisdom. So wisdom is not just some principles. Uh, of course, there are so many of that principles you can read. But for your mind, it could just connect with that. But first of all, with your heart, we connecting with Jesus Christ. He is made our wisdom. He was made unto us sanctification. He was made unto us righteousness. He was made unto us redemption. Everything that uh, for us is in Christ Jesus. He is a person. Wow. Hello, Melissa. Hello, Melissa. Yes. Joy, ecstatic. Yes. Uh, Clarissa. Hello. Methodi Kostov is probably Bulgarian. Blessings. Let us know where, what nation you're from. Uh, so, Psalm 5. Um, verse 11. Oh, this is so good. But let all who take refi refuge in you be glad. Brothers, I just want to release that gladness on you. Right now, I'm just releasing that gladness. Let them ever sing for joy. Instead of being, uh, you know, fearful and, you know, let us begin to sing. I, I watched some, um, some, something from Italy yesterday. And, you know, Italy is forbidden right now to... Uh, go in and out and everything so just the whole the whole country is shut down for for visitors but guess what what is the reaction of these italians i'm so excited to see that people uh, in italy are beginning to get out on their balconies and begin to sing so there's different these italian songs and maybe you can google and find out but it's such an amazing reaction such a beautiful reaction so that's what we should be doing this is so biblical we should sing Wow, sing for joy. Spread your protection over them and those who love your name will rejoice in you. Let's just do it right now. Father, we just release that scripture over us right now and we release that uh, instead of fear to, be, to, uh, to find a refuge in you. And uh, we have found refuge. We are in Christ Jesus. But now we're just beginning to sing. Let the joy bubble up and because you're spreading protection over us. And, and uh, we love you. And, and those who love my name, he says, let that may rejoice. And so we're rejoicing in you. Wow, does that make sense? Throw some hearts if, if you like it. I'll keep, keep, keep going a little bit longer. I, I'm saturated with these scriptures. I do that. My wife and I, we love the, the word. The love, the word, the word is not just a book to read. But it's actually a person. Christ became Jesus became the word he is the word and he became here on earth the, the word became flesh is that's what I meant to say so he's inside us he's inside our body and uh, and so Psalm 12 verse verse 5 says because um, um, I will protect those who uh, align with me um, uh, let me see Psalm 20 verse 1. May the Lord answer you when, when you're in distress. May the name of God of Jacob protect you. So Lord, we receive that protection. We receive this. This is some, some of our brothers and sisters are in distress right now. So we just release for them. We release for, 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 over them your protection. The faith that, that, that you can help us in this. Distress. Help our brothers and sisters in, in the States right now. Help America, help the president, help the vice president, help, help the senators, help the House of Representatives, help our leaders not to be in distress and not to be stressed out, but, but to, be, to, to believe that they're protected. But let your protection be visible. Wow, the righteous person may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers them from them all. Psalm 34, verse 19. That's such a great scripture. The righteous, how many believe you are the righteousness of God in Christ when you get born again? He, he took your sin on himself and your sinfulness, your sinful identity and made us his righteousness. He gave us his righteousness. So, 
so the righteous person may may have many troubles but the Lord deliver him from the Lord, from them all. So Lord, I release your deliverance. I release your delivering power from all difficulties and all troubles in the name of Jesus. Wow, verse Psalm 46, verse 1. Look at this. God is our refuge and strength. You need some strength right now? Just receive that scripture. I'm praying it over you. I'm blessing you that, that God is your, your refuge and your strength and ever present help in trouble. If, if I've lived here for 40 years, so, so there have been several trouble. In fact, quite frequently there'll be something like another disease or another thing happening. And, uh, but this certainly is a trouble one, troublesome one. And so just receive that faith from God that uh, I will I will be ever present help in trouble. Wow, that's so good. Do, do you need any more? Do you want any more? I mean, I'm I got them. I I'm saturated. I am uh, you know one of my one of my uh, favorite new translation is the Passion translation, and I love I love what it says here in Colossians uh, chapter one verse twelve it says our hearts can soar with joyful gratitude when you think of how God made you worthy to receive the glorious inheritance wow, freely given to us by living in the light. Verse 13, Christ, God, excuse me, God has rescued us completely from the tyrannic rule of darkness and has translated us into, into the kingdom of His light. Wow! We have already been rescued, already been rescued and completely. Just receive that. Just, I'm, I'm, I'm praying this, this scripture over you to, 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 to grasp right now with all the saints together that we have been rescued completely. Wow, over the darkness had been already translated into the kingdom realm of his beloved son. So he didn't take us out of this world, but he actually, uh, we're still in this world, but not of it. That world around us, this disease and sicknesses and torments and disasters and curses is no longer in us because Jesus took him out. He took us out of that. So we're still in this world, but... The world is not in us anymore. Why? Because Christ is in us, and because, because the Holy Spirit is in us. How many? How many excited about that? I am excited. The Holy Spirit is in us. Let me see who is this here. Charman, Charman Chan, filled with joy. Yeah, Amber, Amber. Hi, Amber Twig. Twig. Blessings. Amber is from a school. Rosemary, Rebecca Stover, Tracy. Bless you, bless you guys. Whoa! Deliver me from my enemies, O oh God. Be my fortress against those who are attacking me. So Lord, we just release your delivering power over, over all the enemies at this point. That we're just discussing sicknesses and diseases and these, these uh, coronaviruses and everything. Uh, so we just release, release, uh, releases uh, uh, of trying to attack us, but we're just blessing and this divine protection. Wow, shakarabarakarasata. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you preserve my life. You stretch out your hand against the anger of my foes. With your right hand, you save me. Again, the word saved in the New Testament is sozo, which is save and include, include healing. Amen. Amen. Psalm 138, verse 7. Wow. Wow, this is so... Keep me safe, O oh Lord. Psalm 140. Keep me safe from the hands of the wicked. Protect me from the violent who devise ways to, to trip my feet. Protection. Uh, verse Thessalonians 5. First Thessalonians 5, 23 and 24. May God Himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless uh, at the coming of the Lord. Wow, he who is faithful, he who calls, he calls he is faithful and he will do it. Um, I'm excited. I could, 
I could uh, give you more of my scriptures. But um, I just want to read my one of my favorite Psalms, Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. Bless you with the, uh, the Lord being our shepherd. We're so blessed. I lack nothing. So anything you need, the Lord got it. Okay? The Lord got it. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still water. So in this troublesome time, just lay in, lay down in Him. Take your take your time if you're if you're not working out. This if you're in, at home, just take time to rest. Take time to rest in His water. I'm talking about the waters of the Spirit, the waters of healing from heaven. He refreshes my soul. Lord, we just refresh that soul. We, re we receive refreshing for our soul. He guides me along the right path. Of his for his name's sake, and so we just release your guiding power right now to know exactly what to do in this situation. And we just pray for that for all our government leaders and the mayors and the police chiefs and everybody to know um, to be guided by the Lord. Even though I walk through a dark valley, I will f I will fear no evil again, no evil, because God is inside us and God is love. Amen. God is love, and and where love is, there's no fear. Perfect love cast out all fear. Is that you? Come on, come on. For you prepare a table. Um, oh no, evil. For you are with me, and your rod and staff they comfort me. So I just, just pray that comfort over you. God's own. Rod and staff and protection. It's like the good shepherd. They have these these rods and they help the the sheep and not to get into a, a, a rough spot. So we just receive that. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy. The enemy right now we're talking about is that virus and these uh, fears and stuff. So we just uh, these demonic forces, they want to contaminate our country and sub sub make us sick. In Jesus' name, we push them out. We prepare a table before our enemies. And you anoint my head with oil. My cup overflow. I just released the anointing of oil and cup overflowing. That anointing of gladness, oil of gladness, came upon uh, from God the Father to S Jesus the Son, who fulfill. The plan of God to save us, to rescue us, to heal us, to restore us, and to make a provision for Christ to be in the, inside us now by the Holy Spirit. So, because it, Jesus completed that task, it's been done, it is finished, he's not asking him to do it, he did it. Now we're receiving it by faith. And, and the Bible says that God says, Psalm 110, let me anoint you, sit down my son. Uh, let me anoint you with all. Uh, this is in in uh, in uh, in uh, book of Hebrews. Let me anoint you with oil of gladness, oil of gladness, oil of joy. Hallelujah! So just receive that. Um, my my anoint my head with oil. My cup overflow. Surely goodness. Say goodness. Surely goodness and love will follow me. All the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Bless you. Love you very much. I'm glad to be able to take time. I, I, I try to be more frequent because I, I feel that um, that urge to do that. So please uh, receive these these anointed scriptures over over yourself. Speak them over yourself, over your children. Moms and dads, just release that over your kids. Release that peace that passes all understanding in our homes. And let our home glow with the glory of the Lord. Amen. That's my, that's my vision. Glow with the glory of the Lord. And then let it flow over to the neighbors. Amen. Let it flow over to the neighbors. Uh, if, you, if, there's a, if you have a chance, uh, visit your neighbor and see if they need some prayer. Because right now, everybody... Um, is uh, in this stress and tension and they all um, they, everybody needs prayer and loves prayers and so just, just use the opportunity to to pray one of my friends Pasquale in uh, uh, in the uh, Las Vegas is with his friend there in the street corner with a sign uh, 
we pray. Stop over and we'll pray for you. And cars are pulling over and they're praying for people because people really need prayer. And we're the prayer warriors because Christ is in us. Does that make sense? Thank you so much. Share that right now. Share it. Thank you for joining and share it and uh, so that we can spread the good news of the Word of God, of healing over as many people as we can. Does that make sense? Thank you so much. Love you and bless you.